Good morning everybody and welcome back after the weekend. Hope you had lots of fun. Let's start with some circle time songs. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Miss Polly had a dolly that was sick, sick, sick. She called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rattle tat tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly, put her straight to bed. He wrote on the paper for a pull, pull, pull and said, I'll be back in the morning for my bull, bull, bull. Ring a ring a rose, yeah, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring a rose, it's a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Today we're saying goodbye to England and we're flying off to the Philippines where we're going to visit another zoo. The first animal we're going to meet is the Philippine Flying Lemur. The Philippine Flying Lemur resembles a monkey with bat wings. It has a wide head, large eyes, small ears, 34 teeth, big whip and clawed feet and its 12 inch tail. It weighs about 1 to 1.7 kilograms. The lemur mainly feeds on fruit, flowers and leaves. The next animal we're going to see is the flying sorry. The flying fox. The flying foxes are not really foxes with wings. They are actually small slim bats that look like winged dogs with brown fur. These creatures live as a colony gathering in trees of lowland forests. They sleep during the day and look for food during the night. They eat fruits of forest trees. Today we're introducing the number 11. Let's count to 11, but we've only got 10 fingers, so let's use our nose as number 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well done. Today we are doing the number 11. Let's count how many books there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well done. Now teacher Meryl is going to use her magic finger and she's going to draw the number ones. Up and down and up and down. Now teacher Meryl is going to use her crayon. Well done teacher. At home you can color in your books now. Let's sing a song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven six five four three two one seven six five seven six five seven six five four three two one seven six five seven six five seven six five four three two one A letter for the week is N. N is for nuts, N is for numbers. 
Teacher Meryl is going to first use her magic pen, follow the letter N. Down, down, up. Well done for the lowercase and round. Now Teacher Meryl is going to use the numbers. Numbers starting with the letter N. And she's going to complete the N. Well done, teacher. Hope you have fun doing this at home. Well done. You can complete both the numbers of the letters N at home in your fun time. Let's go over and look at out and sing a song first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Today we just quickly, before we do our arts and crafts for today, are going to go over our five senses. Who can remember them? Smell. We use our nose to smell things. Touch. We use our hand to touch things. Taste. We use our tongue to taste things. Sight. We need our eyes to see things. And hearing. We need our ears to hear. Hope you are using your five senses at home. Let's do our arts and crafts for today. Today we are making the flag of the Philippines. In your pack you got the stars and some red and blue paper and teacher Meryl is going to show you how to put them together. First she's going to cut the blue paper and put that down on the top. And then she's going to use the red paper and put that at the bottom. Remember mommy, they can put it any way they want to, as long as the ones on the top and the bread is at the bottom. Now teacher Meryl is going to put the stars down. And did you know that teacher Meryl comes from the Philippines? Well done teacher. Well done. Hope you have fun making your flag. Hey everybody, it's time to do the hokey pokey. Make a big circle. Here we go. You put one hand in, you put one hand out, you put one hand in and you shake. Your backside in, you put your back. 
Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.